Welcome to this complete Dublin Island travel guide. If you are planning a trip to the Emerald Isle, Dublin is a city that you cannot afford to miss. Nestled on the banks of the River Liffey, Dublin is a city that's rich in history, culture, and a pint or two of the black stuff. It's a city that's known for its charm and the warm welcome of its people. In this video, we're going to take you on a journey through the top 10 must-visit attractions that Dublin has to offer. From the hallowed halls of Trinity College to the bustling streets of the Temple Bar District, from the historic Dublin Castle to the peaceful Phoenix Park, and let's not forget the iconic Guinness Storehouse, we've got it all covered. So buckle up and get ready for an adventure that's as enchanting as a leprechaun's tale. So without further ado, let's dive into the first must-visit place in Dublin. The first stop in our Dublin itinerary is the Guinness Storehouse, a pilgrimage site for beer lovers worldwide. This seven-story wonder is a testament to Ireland's rich brewing heritage, taking you on a captivating journey through the art and science of making Guinness. As you wander through the storehouse, you'll delve into the brewing process, from the sourcing of ingredients to the craft of brewing that results in the iconic stout we all know and love. Alongside the brewing process, the storehouse is a treasure trove of history filled with tales of Arthur Guinness and the legacy he left behind. It's not just about the beer, though. The Gravity Bar sitting atop the storehouse offers an unparalleled panoramic view of Dublin City, making your pint of Guinness taste even better. A visit to Dublin isn't complete without a pint of the black stuff at the Guinness storehouse. Next on our list is the iconic Trinity College, home to the famous Book of Kells. Steeped in centuries of history, this prestigious institution has seen the likes of Oscar Wilde and Samuel Beckett walk its hallowed halls. Founded by Queen Elizabeth I in 1592, Trinity College is Ireland's oldest university and a testament to the city's rich past. The architectural splendour of the college is evident in its Georgian squares, cobbled paths and grand edifices. But the true gem of Trinity is the old library, housing the Book of Kells. This stunningly illuminated manuscript, created by Celtic monks around the year 800, is considered one of the most significant artefacts of the medieval period. It's a breathtaking blend of Christian doctrine and Celtic artistry, a testament to the cultural wealth of a bygone era. So whether you're drawn to the age-old wisdom encapsulated in parchment or the timeless beauty of Gothic architecture, Trinity College will not disappoint. This place is a treat for history buffs and architecture lovers alike. Now let's head over to the vibrant Temple Bar District, the cultural quarter of Dublin. Immerse yourself in the lively ambience that permeates every corner of this district. By day, it's a bustling hub of galleries, restaurants and shops. By night, it transforms into a lively hotspot where the true essence of Dublin comes alive. The traditional Irish pubs with their warm wooden interiors and friendly faces are a sight to behold. Each pub is a treasure chest of stories where countless tales have been spun over pints of Guinness. Here you'll find locals and visitors alike sharing laughs and creating memories. What's more, the music scene in Temple Bar District is second to none. From traditional Irish folk tunes to contemporary beats, the air is always filled with a melody. Whether it's a spontaneous street performance or a planned gig at a local pub, music is the soul of this district. Temple Bar District is where you can truly embrace the spirit of Dublin. Moving on to some historical gems, we have Dublin Castle and St. Patrick's Cathedral. Let's start with Dublin Castle, an emblem of Ireland's history that has stood the test of time. This castle, with its blend of medieval and Georgian architecture, was the seat of English rule in Ireland for seven centuries, from the 12th until the 19th century. Today, Dublin Castle is a buzzing hub of cultural activity hosting exhibitions, concerts, and even state functions within its ancient walls. The castle's architectural landscape is a testament to the rich tapestry of Ireland's past. From the medieval record tower to the state apartments with their Georgian elegance, the castle offers a fascinating journey through Irish history. Now let's turn our attention to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Named after Ireland's patron saint, this stunning cathedral is a beacon of Irish religious history. Built in the 13th century, the cathedral's soaring spire and intricate stonework are a sight to behold, but it's the interior that truly takes your breath away, with its stunning stained glass windows and the glorious Lady Chapel, an exquisite example of Gothic architecture. 
St. Patrick's Cathedral isn't just a place of worship, it's a repository of Ireland's history. Here you'll find memorials to some of Ireland's most notable figures, including Jonathan Swift, the author of Gulliver's Travels, who served as the cathedral's dean in the 18th century. The cathedral also played a significant role during the Easter Rising of 1916, offering refuge to those caught in the crossfire. In essence, Dublin Castle and St. Patrick's Cathedral are more than just beautiful architectural landmarks. They are the gateways to understanding Ireland's complex and vibrant history. So whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply a curious traveller, exploring these two landmarks will give you a deep insight into Dublin's rich history. Next up, we have Phoenix Park and the National Gallery of Ireland, perfect for nature and art lovers. Phoenix Park is one of the largest city parks in Europe, stretching over 1,700 acres. It's a veritable oasis that offers a refreshing contrast to Dublin's urban hustle. Within its vast expanse, you'll find a delightful blend of curated gardens, open green spaces and tranquil woodland walks. It's not just about the flora here, though. Phoenix Park is also home to a diverse range of wildlife, including a herd of wild fallow deer that have roamed these grounds for centuries. There's no shortage of attractions here either. From the Victorian tea rooms to the Dublin Zoo, one of the world's oldest, there's something for everyone. And let's not forget the Papal Cross, erected for Pope John Paul II's visit in 1979, which still stands as a significant landmark. Leaving the verdant tranquility of Phoenix Park, we head towards the cultural heart of Dublin, the National Gallery of Ireland. Housing an extensive collection of Irish and European art, the gallery is a must-visit for art aficionados. Its exhibits span seven centuries, from the early Renaissance to the avant-garde movements of the 20th century. The gallery's permanent collection boasts over 16,000 works, including masterpieces by renowned artists like Caravaggio, Vermeer and Jack B. Yeats. And for those seeking something contemporary, the gallery regularly hosts temporary exhibitions featuring the works of modern and emerging artists. One of the highlights here is the Yeats Gallery, dedicated to the works of Jack B. Yeats, one of Ireland's most celebrated artists. His evocative paintings capture the essence of Ireland, both in its landscapes and its people. From the serene landscapes of Phoenix Park to the evocative masterpieces of the National Gallery, these two destinations offer a captivating blend of natural beauty and cultural richness. They're more than just stops on a tourist trail, they're experiences that soothe the soul and stimulate the mind. These two places offer a peaceful retreat from the bustling city life. Our last stops in Dublin are Kilmainham Jail, Hapenny Bridge and Grafton Street. First, we delve into the haunting history of Kilmainham Jail. This formidable prison, which operated from 1796 to 1924, holds the echoes of Ireland's turbulent past within its chilling stone walls. The leaders of the famous Easter Rising were held and executed here, their stories adding to the rich tapestry of Ireland's struggle for independence. A guided tour reveals the stark realities of 19th century incarceration, but despite its grim past, Kilmainham Jail stands as a symbol of resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Irish people. Moving from the sombre shades of history, we find ourselves on the Hapenny Bridge, an iconic symbol of Dublin. Originally called the Wellington Bridge, Dubliners affectionately renamed it the Hapenny Bridge due to the halfpenny toll charged to cross it. This charming pedestrian bridge stretching over the River Liffey is a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll, a romantic rendezvous, or a moment of quiet reflection. Over 200 years old, yet still vibrantly alive, it's a bridge that connects not just two sides of the city, but also Dublin's past and present. Our final stop is Grafton Street, a bustling shopping hub that pulsates with life. From high-end fashion outlets to quaint local boutiques, Grafton Street offers a shopping experience like no other. But it's not just about retail therapy. Street performers add a dash of colour and music to the atmosphere, while the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafts from the many cafes lining the street. And let's not forget the historic Bewley's Cafe, where you can grab a cup of the famous Irish coffee, a fitting end to a day of exploration. These places perfectly capture the essence of Dublin's past, present and future. Whether you're a history buff, a hopeless romantic or a discerning shopper, Dublin has something to offer everyone. So come, immerse yourself in the unique blend of history, culture and charm that is Dublin.
That concludes our travel guide to the must-visit places in Dublin. We started our journey with the Guinness Storehouse, where the magic of brewing this world-renowned stout comes alive. Next, we delved into the academic halls of Trinity College, home to the historic Book of Kells. Our journey continued through the lively streets of the Temple Bar District, a hub for nightlife and entertainment. We then explored the grandeur of Dublin Castle and St. Patrick's Cathedral, monuments that stand as symbols of the city's rich history. We took a breather in Phoenix Park, one of the largest and most magnificent city parks in Europe, before immersing ourselves in the artistic treasures of the National Gallery of Ireland. And who could forget our visit to Kilmainham Jail, the Hapney Bridge, and the bustling shops of Grafton Street? Thank you for joining us on this tour. Make sure to include these places in your Dublin itinerary for an unforgettable experience.